Hello everybody, we are in week 11 of this particular course. In this week, we will look at digital to analog conversion and analog to digital conversion. So, in today's class, we shall take up digital, analog, digital to analog conversion and before that, we shall have a quick recap of what we discussed in the previous week, then need of conversion between analog and digital and two techniques for uh, digital to analog conversion so that we shall see. Very quickly what we saw in week 10 is how we use Mealy model and Moore model to design synchronous sequential logic circuit and we had a comparison of these two uh, different uh, modeling techniques. So, in Moore model we had seen that uh, input affects the internal state and output is generated from those states only. So, input does not directly go to the output uh, logic uh, generation. So, in Mealy model the internal states as well as input together uh, act and to uh, and generate the output uh, uh, of that particular circuit. So, for which we have got certain uh, advantages and disadvantages of both. So, in uh, Mealy model uh, we can get uh, the output a bit quicker, um, uh, more number of do not care states, uh, do not care uh, states in the Karna map uh, based minimization and a little bit less uh, hardware uh, and in Moore model any transients in the input circuit is not uh, input uh, signal is not uh, passed to the output directly. So, once the transient stabilize then the clocking happens and then the output is uh, generated from the internal states. So, these are certain uh, things that we had seen and we knew how to convert one model to uh, another. So, we saw the techniques. So, accordingly we can employ them and uh, depending on our requirement we can uh, use one uh, or the other. Okay. So, we also saw algorithmic state machine chart based uh, design uh, techniques uh, which is a flow diagram based method it is preferred for larger state machines because state transition diagram is found inadequate uh, or very complex to uh, read when uh, the number of uh, these variables, number of states, uh, number of inputs uh, increase. Okay. And also we saw that state uh, reduction techniques, uh, the usefulness of it and how uh, it can be used to minimize uh, a given uh, uh, synchronous logic circuit and uh, by which we can uh, get a uh, more uh, you know a simpler circuit. Okay. So, this is in brief what we discussed uh, in the last week. Now, we go to a very important uh, thing about uh, this uh, uh, digital manipulation of uh, signal. So, the most of the uh, real life signal that we encounter are in are analog in nature. Analog means continuously varying with time. Okay. And we had already seen that uh, this uh, digital manipulation is of advantageous and more about it you, shall, you will study in some uh, future courses or parallelly you are studying in uh, signals and systems or digital signal processing. right? So, uh, what is important is that we should be in a position to convert analog data to digital okay analog signal to digital signal so for which we need to have a something called analog to digital converter in brief it is called the abbreviation it is called adc okay right so consider a sound signal audio signal right so you have captured it through a microphone and then analog to digital uh, converter is converting it to a digital stream right and then you are doing some manipulation over here so some frequencies are boosted some frequencies are you know attenuated and all and you are it is good uh, that uh, you know uh, to have a digital uh, processing technique because of its advantages right and after that you want to play it in a speaker right where the speaker will continuously you know uh, change its position and generate the uh, sound wave right so for that we need to generate a continuous uh, signal continuous time signal right so you need a digital to analog converter over there right 
So this is the kind of thing that we expect when we are trying to manipulate an analog signal in a digital platform. Right? So at two ends we will be having analog uh, to digital uh, I mean in one end analog to digital converter and another end digital to analog converter. Okay? So this is the interface uh, circuit. Right? So in this week we shall look into them. Right? So we will begin with digital to analog conversion this part. Okay, later we shall take up uh, ADC because in ADC within ADC somewhere a concept of DAC is already there. Right? So it is better that we start from DAC. Right? Now let us see how we can get a digital to analog conversion done. So remember for a digital to analog conversion the input is digital right? and corresponding analog signal is to be generated. So input is digital means what? Input will be in the form of a uh, you know binary digit say if it is a 4 bit then 1010 0, 1, 0, or 0, 0, 0011 1, 1 or so. If it is a 3 digit, digit 0, 011, 100 0, 0, some such thing and output should be a voltage which corresponds to that particular uh, uh, this input digital input combination digital signal. Okay? So, if it is a voltage otherwise it could be a current depending on some continuous time manifestation of the input uh, signal an equivalent manifestation. Okay? So, let us look at one circuit which is based on weighted register. Right? So, what you see here what you see here is a circuit where this is the circuit under consideration. So, this is your R naught, R 1, R 2 right? and this is your uh, the voltage at this node right? and this R L load uh, resistance is very very large in comparison to the resistances that you have there in this different branches. Okay? And to begin with let us not bother about this part. Okay? 2 to the power 0 etcetera. Let us just consider these are 3 voltages V naught, V 1 and V 2. Okay? So, uh, this particular circuit just like this how will it uh, operate? So, if we apply KCL at this particular node right? since current is very large over here I mean the resistance is very large over here. So, the current is very small. So, we can neglect that part. Right? So, that is what we have mentioned here. So, V naught minus V A by R naught is the current through this, V 1 minus V A by R 1 is the current through this and V 2 minus V A by R 2 is the current through this. Right? So, from KCL this should be equal to 0. Is it fine? Now, if you take all this V A by R naught, uh, V A by R 1, V A by R 2 to one side and divide, then this is the equation that you get. Right? And in this particular equation, if you consider that your R 1 is R naught by 2, okay? R 2 is R naught by 4. So, that is why it is called R weighted register. Okay? So, register values are like this. right? So, it is R naught divided by some integer uh, power of 2. So, this is what you get R naught by 2, R naught by 4. And then when you cancel out R naught, okay, then what you get here is 1 upon 7 V naught plus 2 V n plus 4 V 2. Is it fine? So, this V naught and this is 2 times the V 1 and this is the 4 times V 2. So, to indicate that we have mentioned this is 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1 is 2, 2 to the power 2 is 4 and you can think of you know extending it beyond that. right? So, the weight final the V A value that you get the weight of V naught in that is what 1 upon 7 whatever the voltage is there it is 1 upon 7 weight of V 1 is 2 upon 7 2 divided by 7 weight of V 2 is 2 to the power 2 that is 4 by 7 okay? and if you sum it up it will you will get 7. So, this is the individual weights is it clear? the basic circuit right now if you if you look at these voltages v not v1 v2 either we put 
प्लस सेवन वोल्ट और जीरो वोल्ट ओके बिकॉज दिस आर डिजिटल इनपुट राइट आई दैट इज हाई और लो सो वी कंसिडर हाई फॉर सेवन वोल्ट ओके एंड लो फॉर जीरो वोल्ट राइट सो दिस इज वन सच केस जीरो जीरो वन राइट देन वॉट विल हैपन वी नॉट इज सेवन वोल्ट राइट दिस इज योर वी नॉट वी वन एंड वी टू राइट एंड दिस इज जीरो 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 द आउटपुट विल बी वन वोल्ट राइट एंड इफ इट इज वन जीरो वन वन जीरो वन सो दिस वॉज जीरो जीरो वन दिस इज वन जीरो वन राइट सो दिस इज सेवन वोल्ट दिस इज जीरो वोल्ट दिस इज वी टू इज जीरो एंड दिस इज वी टू वी वन इज जीरो वी टू इज सेवन सो फोर इन टू सेवन सो वॉट यू गेट हियर इट इज फाइव वोल्ट राइट सो दिस इज दी वे द आउटपुट वोल्टेज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द इनपुट कम्बिनेशन विल बी कैलकुलेटेड एंड इफ यू हैव ऑल द इनपुट कम्बिनेशन डिजिटल इनपुट कम्बिनेशन फ्रॉम जीरो 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 टू वन 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 ओके यू हैव एट द इनपुट साइड then the corresponding analog output will be 0 volt 1 volt to 7 volt isn't it and the list uh, this lsb weight the voltage that you can calculate i mean which is also the resolution of it so this is 0 volt and this is 1 volt so this is 1 volt uh, is what you see as the uh, voltage that it can uh, you know move from one value to another is it clear right now if we extend it to uh, 4 bit if we extend it to 4 bit what happens so this is uh, r not this is r not by 2 this is r not by 4 and you can imagine the next value will be in the weighted register based method it is r not by 8 right and again if you apply kcl just if you you know go on doing that now it will be the value will be 1 upon 15 v not plus 2 v1 plus 4 v2 plus 8 v3 right so this position as 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 3 these are the corresponding you know uh, binary weights for the digital data that is coming right and the lsb weight earlier it was 1 upon 7 for the 3 bit case now 4 bit case it is 1 upon 15 that is whatever the v not value it will be multiplied by 1 upon 15 right this is fine so we can extend it to a n bit uh, case and in that case the output voltage over here analog output that you see for a particular combination of the digital input will be given by this one right so this is v not and this is uh, you know the n part will be your this v n minus 1 for n bit because it is starting from 0 so 0 to n minus 1 right and lsb weight will be 2 to the power n minus 1 is it fine so this is the way we can convert a digital input coming as a bit stream to a corresponding analog voltage is it clear right there will be more associated circuitry and all for practical use so that part we shall take up in next class okay uh, so the first part is what we understand how we can convert through a weighted register based method now there are certain limitations that you can uh, visualize for this particular method okay for which we shall move to another method which is uh, you know uh, uh, found more useful so first of all this depends on the weights of the registers so this is the we require precision register so this is one requirement and the second one is the msb register this one you can see its value is r not by 8 and this is r not okay so how much current is taken it say so this is 7 volt and this is 7 volt so this is 1 upon 8 right so the current is as much as many times lower i uh, mean higher than this one right so for msb if it is a 4 uh, bit case it is 8 times more if it is 8 bit case right so it will be 2 to the power 7 because it is n minus 1 2 to the power n minus 1 so 128 times more current will be flowing through the msb okay msb register right so the loading of it the you know associated issues like heat generation and all is is becoming more and more you know uh, you know troublesome when the number of bits increase in this particular method okay this is a simple method 
but this is one limitation that we find okay and today we are talking about larger number of bits used in uh, dac so in that case we need to look at an alternative circuit so for smaller number of bits it's fine okay so for the alternate circuit what we have is called binary ladder okay this is a very very you know uh, useful circuit so the binary ladder first we see the structure and then we analyze the circuit and then uh, we shall move ahead okay so what you see this is also you can see this is a uh, 2r then r 2r r 2r r this is the way it is as it has been arranged okay so there is no such thing like r not by r 2 r not by 4 r not by 8 and so on and so forth i mean uh, becomes a bit difficult so it is all of you know particular type either 2 r or r and it is terminating here with 2 r okay is it fine so this side the further one is v not then this is v uh, v1 v2 v3 earlier we started from this side is was v not okay you remember that okay so this is small differences now how we analyze this circuit for which we use what is called Thevenin's theorem right. So, in Thevenin's theorem we calculate Thevenin's voltage and Thevenin's resistance right. So, here for this particular circuit we consider there is a cut over here and then we see that uh, the circuit is seen from this side to the right hand side okay from the left hand side to the right hand side. So, this particular block over here we are trying to find the Thevenin equivalent okay. So, for this, for this, this V naught, okay. So, V T H will be V naught into this is 2 R by 2 R plus 2 R, right. This is the resistance, this is the resistance, this is open circuit, this is cut here, right. We know the uh, how B, uh, the Thevenin theorem works, okay. So, this is V naught by 2, fine. And what is the uh, uh, you know Thevenin equivalent resistance? So, 2 R and 2 R in parallel. So, this is R. So, this particular block this particular block can be you know uh, written in this manner with a equivalent circuit obtained from Thevenin equivalent. So, B naught by 2 and this is R is it fine ok. So, this you need to understand from the basics of electrical circuit where Thevenin's theorem was taught ok. Now, you look at this larger block this particular block ok. So, you consider that all other voltages are not present ok they are just there later on we shall include them. So, this is V naught by 2 and this is R and R if we consider a cut over here right then this R and R right 2 R and this 2 R in parallel. So, again a you know parallel voltage is uh, this Thevenin voltage uh, Thevenin resistance is R and now V naught by 2 and this is V naught by 2 into 2 r by 2 r plus 2 r. So, it will become v naught by 4 is it fine. So, this is this particular block now comes over here like this right. So, again you consider a cut over here and you will find that this is going over here like this in this particular block right. And finally, if you further you know move forward. So, you will be having plus minus this is your ground ok and this is your r this is your v naught by 16 and this is your is it fine. So, this is what you are going to get. So, the v a over here that is available to the outside world is v naught by 16 and the output resistance is r is it ok. So, the v naught at the output over here is coming as v naught by 16 is it clear. Now, let us look at what happens to the situation when v 1 is present and others are not present ok. So, this is this case ok. So, in this case this 2 r and 2 r are in parallel right and becomes r. So, this is r and r 2 r and this is 2 r and if you take a cut over here it is similar to what we had seen before only the number of stages to the right hand side is now less one less ok. So, here first it is becoming v 1 by 2 and r then v 1 by 4 r and finally, it will be v 1 by 8 and for this also the output resistance scene will be r is it ok. So, v 1 contributes as v 1 by 8 
in the final uh, thing and this is V0 by 16 and if you extend for all the other voltage uh, input and use principle of superposition, you have this output voltage as V0 by 16, V1 by 8, V2 by 4, V3 by 2 and if you add them up, then it is 1 upon 16 V0 plus 2 V1 plus 4 V2 plus 8 V3. Isn't it? So, we see that 2 to the power 0 comes over here, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 3, right. So, these are the corresponding binary weights and corresponding analog output will be here this way, right. Earlier it was 2 to the power n minus 1, now it is 2 to the power n. So, this is uh, for n is equal to 4, that is what we see over here, okay. Now, we can extend it for n bit. Right. So, if we extend it for n bit, then we have for uh, uh, these binary weights corresponding to MSB will be 1 by 2, second MSB 1 by 4, third MSB 1 by 8 and nth MSB or the LSB will be 1 upon 2 to the power n. Right. And corresponding output voltage voltages are B by 2, B by 4, etcetera, etcetera. And if you have add them up, you get the, uh, the analog output. Is it okay? And if we consider a uh, 5 bit ladder, just for an example, and we consider 0 as 0 volt, the digital binary input that is there and 1 is uh, 10 volt, logic low is 0 volt, logic high is 5, uh, you know 10 volt corresponding the binary equivalent 0 and 1, okay. Then the LSB will be 10 by 2 to the power 5, so 0 0.3125 volt, right. And the full scale voltage, right, when all the bits are 1. So, this is 1 plus 10 into 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16, right. You are putting uh, those values divided by 2 to the 5. So, it is 9.6875 volt, okay. It is not 10 volt, okay. It is 9.6875 volt, okay. So, few interesting thing about this uh, ladder based DSC, right. So, in this case output impedance is always R regardless of the number of bits, okay. And if you, here you have seen that uh, the the uh, termination was with uh, uh, that part we have not discussed. So, if it is terminated with 2 R, okay, then looking into any branch, looking into any branch means uh, in the ladder from any node, right, the impedance is seen as 2 R. So, uh, that is what you can analyze and see and each digital source so, this is R and the 2 R. So, it will see a uh, uh, impedance uh, as 3 R, okay. So, for the digital source. So, R and 2 R put together it is 3 R, right. So, each one of them will be having equal loading, right. And if it is not 2 R, almost equal loading, I mean not much of a difference, not like what we had seen in the case of weighted based, uh, weighted register based method, where it is uh, the MSB was for a 8 bit case 128 times more current uh, uh, you know the resistance was carrying 128 times more current. Okay. So, these are certain uh, advantages and instead of uh, uh, this uh, 9.6875 okay, uh, uh, if you terminate it with 2 R instead of this uh, very high resistance or if you terminate it with 2 R then the output voltage will be 9.6875 2 R plus R by R plus 2 R. Okay. So, this is 6.4583 volt. Okay. So, this you note uh, for the uh, sake of uh, you know your understanding if instead of a very high resistance okay, a, some other value is uh, used for termination then what how you uh, what will be the corresponding voltage is it fine. And then the corresponding current will be in that case you know 3.33 milliampere for each one of them, but for another value. So, it will be you know close to that value, it is not varying too much from one digital input uh, source to another. Okay. This is a good point about this method. Okay. So, with this uh, we uh, come to the conclusion of uh, the first part of the DSC discussion. So, what we have seen is that for digital manipulation of analog signal analog to digital conversion is needed and to get back the processed digital signal, digitally processed uh, signal which is after processing is in digital form and we want to get back it into analog form, then digital to analog conversion is needed. Okay. 
and we had seen two methods in weighted register based method uh, in bit uh, digital to analog converter DAC has LSB weight of 1 upon 2 to the power n minus 1 and for analyzing that uh, such circuit uh, Kirchhoff's current law KCL is useful. Okay? And uh, for uh, DAC used uh, uh, DAC using precision registers, okay? the uh, uh, no for this uh, uh, weighted register based uh, DAC the precision re registers are required and MSB register handles 2 to the power n minus 1 times more current than LSB register. Okay? This we have already seen and binary ladder based DAC, uh, DAC has got uh, weight for the LSB as 1 upon 2 to the power n and Thevenin theorem is useful to analyze such circuit and uh, it has a constant output impedance irrespective of number of bits and it can have equal loading for each input, okay? each digital input which is a, a useful feature. So, with this uh, we conclude uh, this particular lecture, thank you.